Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Home affairs were camped somewhere trying to change the, reg the register of the PF, your party. And today we have seen a publication of that updated register. Now, this is in a matter that is before the courts of law. My question to you, and perhaps also to the Zambians through mm, you, mm. is at what cost to democracy is this happening when a case is in court? Um, you were privy to that information, I don't know how. And today, true to your prediction, we have seen a register of updated office bearers of the PF. So it's, it's criminal, uh, criminality. Uh, we can start from the so-called conference. The matter is in court, but we will speak just broadly. Here is a suspended member. When you are suspended, you have no right. You are literally not a member. Your rights are suspended as a member. Convenes a conference. The state provides the biggest security I've ever seen. Today I pass through Mulungushi. We have two big international conferences in Zambia. The one for health is a regional Africa. There is no such security where we have dignitaries, ministers that have come across Africa and beyond. There was such huge presence of security, outnumbering even the, the 180 delegates inside there. And the legality was enabled and you saw how they abused ZMBC to start calling a, a member who suspended, who can't hold the conference by the statute of the Patriotic Front. They began to call him PF president. Before long, we saw parliament, his so-called secretary general, who publicly, by the way, resigned from the Patriotic Front in 2022 and went to the rival opposition, right to the speaker that we held the conference, the so-called conference, and changed uh, number, uh, office bearers, uh, the leadership in parliament. And the speaker obliges. And the speaker, in fact, lied and stated that changes were made at registrar of society, and she was merely following this, the, the details from registrar of societies. Again, it emerged that the speaker not only broke the constitution, but also lied because there were no such changes that occurred at, uh, at uh, the registrar of society. Isn't it scary then that uh, at every turn, based on what you're describing, at every turn someone is lying, someone is covering up, how many people are you going to sue? So the trouble with illegalities is you have to cover them with more illegalities. So a small illegal conference held by a suspended member with UPND members, they call it a PF conference. To, be, to cover that lie, they have to create more lies. But unfortunately, in state institution, the lies, you have to break the law. So they are breaking many laws. But I, I, I need to, you know, cut you there and cut you short. Because you're saying an illegal meeting held with UPND members. Yes. We yes. have seen some of your members claiming to say we have not been paid. We are PF members. We attended that conference. And they are challenging the conference in court. They are suing uh, Mao Sampa in, in court. Are they not your members? Why they, would you they, call them uh, UPND members? Mostly they were UPND. The matter was live on TV. Now let's, let's, let's just regress. How does the Patriotic Front hold this conference? It's called by Central Committee. Who attends the conference? members of parliament we are 58 members of parliament where are they at the conference we are members of the central committee did you see any member of the central committee in that meeting we have provincial and district officials who are sent to the conference did you see our district elected officials you have the, the conference provides for 
our mayors and council chairperson. Did you see any council or mayor at that conference? It was live. And we could see mostly UPND members that were picked. And uh, it was such a sham that, uh, that uh, no matter how much they try to legitimize, whether they change details at the registrar of societies, that is just criminality. I can take you to Richard Nixon. His crime and why he resigned was very simple. He sent security to spy on the opposition party headquarters. And they began a series of lies to cover up that security breach that they were not engaged in the breach. They committed lies and illegalities on pile of one lie. That illegal conference at Mungushi, by their stooge, because he was suspended, he was not our member, and we've seen, has now brought many unconstitutional things. The speaker breaking Article 72 of the Constitution, an impeachable offense, if an offense she can be prosecuted now or in future. We have seen Permanent Secretary Dixon Matembo and, and uh, bearing pressure on the registrar of societies. We, ha we now know that Tandiwe Piri Muhende, the registrar, who came last week and submitted that document to court that the details have not been changed and demonstrated that the speaker lied. She was not only unconstitutional, but she also lied so, that records were changed. So, so, so her submission before the courts last week, you said? Yeah. And today's... Um, how, how do you reconcile the it's, two? It's criminality, illegality, and people must know. It doesn't matter how long uh, it takes for you to face the law. When you have committed the crime, you will face Do you have justice. confidence? Do you I have, have confidence. Do you have confidence you in, our, in our judiciary? Uh, let's take, for example, some people that are in court. When were their offenses? They will be cited in 2013, 2015, 2017. When you have power, you have this arrogance where you think the law can't visit you. Because you can tell the police to stand down. You can tell party officials, uh, uh, government officials to do wrong things. Unfortunately, government doesn't forget. Tell me. Over the last 60 years, we have systems. You literally can't delete evidence. That's why I feel pity for these that are engaged in these high-level acts of corruption. They think they can delete documents in government. You cannot. The system is self-protecting. Can, can you update the nation? Where, where is this case? Because there was supposed to be an inter-party hearing. The, 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 the Mao Sampa faction and the Ediga Chagwalung led factions because you, you too are in, in court over this. But where is this case now? Because I, I think the members of, of public may be a little bit lost as yeah, to where yeah, this true, case true. is. Okay, so let me just, uh, uh, just briefly speak to the cases in court. Uh, when we learned of the arrangement to hold this illegal conference by a member who's not a member of the Patriotic Front because he wrote to Mulungushi University and later wrote to Mulungushi. First we reported, like law-abiding people, we reported to the police that there is a, a person who's not a member of the Patriotic Front. He's saying he's going to hold an independence retreat. So there is paper trail to the police, to the Inspector General and to the Lusaka commanding officer even in the occurrence book at Central Police, where we reported this matter, that there are these people that are trying to hold the conference. When the illegal conference took place, it was a retreat, it turned itself into a conference, we went to the High Court that there is this suspended member from Matero. He's an MP. We've suspended, and with what he has done now, because what he has done is treason, he has ignored our party constitution. He has proceeded to install himself as president. What he has done is a coup d'etat. So we have gone before the high court and pleaded the case that can you stop this individual who has held this conference, which is illegal. We have demonstrated our party constitution. We have submitted evidence before that court. And we had sought, remember, uh, we had sought an injunction to restrain him to call himself the uh, president of PF. 
So there has been a misunderstanding when that injunction was lifted. It's like it gave him authority now to call himself president. No, it didn't. Remember, we are saying he has held an illegal conference, and we are, we are before that court. Let me give an, a, a, an ordinary example. If a thief steals your TV, you go to the police. The police are not recovering the TV. And the, the thief is watching the you, TV. Your TV is watching the news and everything else. It still doesn't make that TV his. Then I go to court. Imumwesha mfumu. The court will sit to hear the facts. He might claim that I told him a TV. I'll bring my receipt, the serial number, and the process. Eventually, the court will, will rule that he has stolen. Even if the police were corrupt, and the TV will be returned to me or compensated. So we are in a limbo where this thief is saying it is my TV. It doesn't make his TV because he's making the claims or he's being aided by corrupt processes. The party remains intact with this matter. There's another matter that we took to the lower court because we noticed that he began to use our letterheads of the party and he began to sign letters. The letter he wrote to parliament is on a forged document. We as a party have not issued him with those documents. The letter he wrote to the Registrar of Society announcing new party uh, office bearers is a fraud. We have not given him our letter head. So we went before the Lusaka magistrate and demonstrated that there is this stranger who is using our documents and writing on our documents. And the process there has started. He is supposed to, he should have appeared yesterday. That is why they who are planning these uh, illegal crimes sat yesterday to change and amend the records so that when he comes to court, whether it's tomorrow, whenever he's ready, he wants to come and show a document that he actually owns a patriotic front. But even the document you'll utter is a process of fraud. So he's just committing more crimes. This time he has enlisted P.S. Matembo and the acting registrar to commit those crimes. And we are waiting for them to come and utter that document. Whether it is at the bank or at parliament or at court, we are waiting because it's a process of fraud. Is, is this the reason why in your camp you think that they're being aided by the state? No, no, it's a state project. It's a UPND stooge. It's been sponsored by the UPND. We've been very clear. The UPND knows. They, they run a political party. Can anyone who suspended hold a, a meeting and call it a UPND conference and elect a leader who becomes UPND leader replacing President Daka in the HLMA. Is that possible? So you have contested the Mao Sampa, the, the Ngonga, and all of that. It's but a what, fraudulent what, process. What, but what's your reading into the fact that only last week the, the head of state was in Kasama launching the, 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 um, the airport uh, built by, 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 your, by your former um, government? While there, he recognized Chavinga as the leader of opposition in parliament and patted him on the back and said, no Chukutina, don't, don't be scared. What's your reading into that? Well, like they are stealing, because stealing is breaking the law. Like they are involved in corruption. Corruption is, is, is against the law. They are trying to steal the patriotic front. It's against the law. The president is participating in lawlessness. In civilized, you know, states, he'll be impeached for such actions. But they take advantage of the arrogance of numbers in parliament. They take advantage of the abuse of institutions. Uh, Pastor Kennedy, what I can tell you is that this is lawlessness being perpetrated by the president. When they held that conference, I came here and I announced that this is a UPND conference. Is a state orchestrated process. You will see ZMBC will begin to announce this stooge as PF president because it's orchestrated by the state. The facts were not clear then. We didn't even know how many people were, were involved. Now we know whoever is participating in it. We know who's funding the process. We know when they are holding the meetings. 
like yesterday when he was at uh, Registrar of Society and today he was at High Court. Our people tell us, people are everywhere who love this country. And when they see an illegality, even if they are attending to you. What was he doing at the court? We will find out. But he was shuttling in between the office of, uh, 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 at the High Court, you know, the, the judge in charge. And our people told us, one even sent a picture. When he was at uh, Foreign Af uh, at Home Affairs yesterday, shuttling, again our people sent pictures. So he, you cannot hide under the sun. Are, are, you, are you confident the, the, the due process uh, of the law will bring this matter to a close? Um, Pastor Kennedy, this is very distressing for our people. You know, today there's this development, tomorrow. It's like... Uh, you are seeing your house on CCTV being invaded by thieves. You are seeing they are packing your goods. You are calling the police. There is no response. What haven't we done? We reported these matters before they took place to the police. We wrote official letters to the police. We have gone to court. What do they want us to do? To break the law the way they are breaking the law? What will remain of this country if we do that? What Malsam has done is a coup. It's like me, today I sit at town center with 10 people and I call myself president of the Republic of Zambia and you begin to, to report that Zambia went to an election yesterday and elected Emmanuel Mwamba. Then I go and march into state house and become president. It's a coup. So it doesn't matter how many letters he writes. You know, when you, uh, when you conduct a coup, the African Union will not recognize you. So like the coups in West Africa, those men and women cannot sit, even if they call themselves presidents, I, they I, cannot I, sit I, I, in I, the I, meeting. I, I sense your frustration saying, what, mustn't, what, what should we do? What, what haven't we done? I sense your frustration. Yeah. Is this the reason why you were calling for a national shutdown, a matter for which... You have been arrested? Yeah, I was, I, what I was saying is that uh, the citizens have a right to protect democracy when it's under attack. When we said that they can engage in peaceful protest, we didn't say they should break the law, but they can express their frustrations. And I called on our members to go in districts, wherever they are, that they can apply for a permit and march against the theft of the patriotic front. These fraudulent processes that is being enabled by state house and other officials. There's nothing wrong with that in a democracy. Because you have to use all avenues. Do you regret our having, lawyers? Do you regret having uttered that? Why? Because we you still are now, call upon our members. You, you are now under you know prosecution. <laughs> we'll prove to God that there's nothing wrong in a democracy to hold peaceful protest. Are you holding it outside the law? We have demonstrated that we are abiding by the law. When we see criminality, we've reported it to the police. We've gone to court. We have shown utmost patience. We have resisted the anger of our supporters. We have encouraged them to wait for our direction and activity. It's just lawlessness. It's continued oppression. The way they've arrested Fred Member, the way they've arrested Given Lubinda, the way they've arrested me, it's just continued Did oppression by the, op by, by the state to attempt to intimidate us. The, the, minister, to quiet us. the, the minister of Environment, Mr. Honorable Nzov, I think he, yesterday or the other day issued a statement saying, you in opposition, you are daring the law so that you can claim that you are being persecuted. Uh, when, you, when you say all of you are being arrested and the president said recently at the showgrounds that um, you cannot hide in politics yet doing criminal activities in the name of I'm a politician. You're not immune. So, com Comrade Nzovu should put that advice to his president. Why is the president in Kasama recognizing uh, an illegality? who's participating in the lawlessness. Why is the Speaker of the National Assembly receiving a letter from a stranger, a non-PF member, and changes leadership at Parliament? Comrade Dinzovu must speak to his fellow leaders who are highly engaged in this lawlessness and abuse of the Constitution. He should tell 
those that are stealing, that are plundering our resources. He should tell the minister of mines, Pokabuswe, that Pokabuswe, Balevati, if you watch the party Vedanta, ni treason. Can you publish the agreement? He should help us by going to Honorable Dr. Stumbeko Musokotwane and tell him, Bakaramba, Baleva T. Detri Shedu Mashtri Palasti, that it's very corrupt. It's being written in New York, in London, in Paris, in Beijing, that it's a corrupt process. Give us the details. So I'll advise, before he comes to us, before he removes the speck in us, he should remove the log. And lawlessness what does that do to our international image? Oh, terrible, terrible. Remember, there was so much hope. Our oh. people of Zambia elected President Akainde Ichilema with a landslide victory. Don't forget we're in the Champions League. No, we were. They rode the red carpet for President Akainde Ichilema. At his first appearance at the UN, President Joe Biden recognized our youths for their resilience to participate in election and change the destiny of our country. They opened European Parliament for our president to address it. He pledged that he will promote democracy, constitutionalism and the rule of law. And now as we stand, he's so desperate to hold on to power that he wants to make illegal changes to our constitution. You are aware that the speaker started the process in parliament to change the constitution? Well, the, the, the minister of information has vehemently refused that. I showed the letter. What I don't it? speak from without. No, I showed the letter. He defended that those are amendments proposed by the independent member from the East who, who, who is asking for the emoluments. Uh, the, the bill around the emoluments and another uh, piece past, of legislation. Pastor, nothing to do, Pastor Kennedy, nothing to do when, with what when, you... When these ministers are lying, you should help us. You are the eyes and ears for our people. We, we are interrogating. The letter written by the first president addresses parliament on 8th September. He opens the third session of the 13th National Assembly. And he calls for amendments to the constitution, matters regarding a CDF where he wants MPs to participate. A few days later, on 13th, the Speaker of the National Assembly, through the acting clerk, writes to MPs to propose amendments to amend the constitution. JJ's letter is in October, 35 days later. So when a minister begins to tell lies, you just subject them to a truth test. You, 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 you have critically mentioned three things yeah. about the tenure of office, about the 50 plus one, and about the running mate. In the letter you are citing, none of that is very glaring. It's not in black and white. No, no, no. no. So uh, how can I think you... what I said was very clear. I published a letter from the clerk of the National Assembly. I referred to the presidential speech. And I said, for the UPND, these are their submissions. The UPND members, the UPND leaders, the UPND ministers live in our community. When they have meetings, when we have meetings, they know about it. When they have meetings, we know about the, uh, their meetings. We are aware of some of the changes that they think can get away with. Right. Our members of parliament are in various committees, including the most important um, a, a committee, the select committee, which is chaired by the speaker. Let's let's talk about. So we do not speak from without. When we elect Zambians, the Zambians may not have the opportunity that you and I have. So when we elect Zambians, it's first to help. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.